Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today I'm going to be doing my what sold for last week. This is the first half for Monday through Thursday, which is April 10th through the 13th. Last weekend was awful. Awful, awful, awful for sales. And then this weekend has been amazing. So again, we got this. And then I dropped here couple of bad days and then the weekend was really really well and then the lat yeah the last two days pitiful pitiful I noticed some issues this morning I was when I was listing I would go to change the category that I was going to list something in and it wouldn't change but when I went back to the listing screen it had changed and then I would adjust pictures and when I went to list it was the wrong pictures again. They hadn't been edited down. So there's obviously something going on in the background. And the search. Has anybody else? I'll put in a search for something. And all I get are these women wearing ball caps. That's my whole search screen. It has nothing to do with what I was searching for. Or I'll get Mickey Mouse stuff. I'm just... It's a little disconcerting when there's so many issues still going on, but you know what? Let them have all their issues right now. Just not fourth quarter. Not fourth quarter. But we did our live show last night. Thank you guys for all the love you shared. It, it was fun letting everybody see Robert, you know, just, just how, just how amazing he really is. He's so quick-witted. And just always has me smiling, always. So it was fun. We, we need to do that more often so that, you know, we can just chat with everybody. But a lot of times it's, you know, he doesn't like that stuff. He likes being just the voice behind the camera. So, but I, I, I think I could coax him, you know, every four to six weeks. Maybe we'll do something like that again. Just to kind of sit and chat. And I kept saying, one hour, one hour. When well, we went to, it flew by. It was so much fun just to chat with everybody. So, thank you guys. Two years. Two years and one day now. All right, let's go ahead and let me show you some of the stuff. Macari was doing really bad for me, and now it's doing a whole lot better. Poshmark was doing pretty abysmal, and now it's doing really well. I think I... I've had more Poshmark sales today than eBay so far. It's like three in the afternoon. So I'm not quite sure. Uh, we've got some issues going on, I think. But I'll share with you what I I have here. Um, on Mercari, one sale. Etsy's, I, I went in and I fixed it so that nothing's going to renew. I'm going to just let everything drop off. I don't want to keep spending the 20 cents when I'm not selling anything and maybe I'll let it all sit there and then once fourth quarter gets here I'll just go ahead and reactivate all of them hoping that because it's a lot of vintage toys that they'll sell um, and then I'll do a whole lot of cross, cross listing to Etsy of things that I've listed since um, like I said I always list everything on eBay first and then I use list perfectly to cross list to the other platforms so I'm, I, I think that's my plan for right now. I just don't want to keep spending all of this money on just the 20 cent renewals and hardly making any sales. So I, one sale this month on Etsy. Uh, these are amber grapes, salt and pepper shaker. I bought like a box at an estate sale and it had several different types of salt and pepper shakers in there. And this was one of them. They were very dirty. So I wiped, you know, cleaned them up. Um, and I think they're very cute. Somebody who likes that type of, you know, decor for their kitchen. Very cute. Sold for $15 on Mercari. All right. And then three cells to share on Poshmark. This is one of those microwavable heating type plush. It's called Cozy Cuddle Monkey. It sold for $12 on Posh. I don't plan on picking them up anymore. They're very heavy. And they just don't sell as well as I had anticipated. And if they're if they're even the slightest bit dirty, you're you're you can't sell them. You can't wash them. 
Cloud Island Unicorn Lovey sold for $10. I don't mind making sales for $10 on Posh because, you know, I'm going to make $7.05 on this sale for just a Lovey that I've probably got maybe a quarter in. Um, and it's gone. It's moved. Obviously, by the time it gets to Poshmark, it's been on eBay for a while. And I'm just glad to see it going. I do a lot of loveys on Poshmark, surprisingly, based, you know, because the, the lightweight, they're still having to pay the priority price. And then this, I think I picked this up for one of um, Bolo Buddy's bins challenges that I've participated in. It was an Indiana Jones whip plush from 2008. It made sounds. It worked. It sold for $12 on Poshmark. And now to eBay. I think this is a viewer sale based on um, the, the chat on my live last night because I had... I'm assuming maybe Tracy was saying that she couldn't wait for me to get some more of my baby lots listed, which I don't have any right now. I'm planning on trying to look for that kind of stuff at yard sales and when we go back to the bins. But I think this is a viewer sale, so I'm just going to go ahead and thank Tracy. And if not, the Tracy, who isn't a viewer, is getting a thank you. But these are Infantino, Fisher-Price, Lamaz, and Gund baby toys. Sold for $35.95. And then this is very cute. I think I picked this up at an estate sale. I want to say like 50 cents maybe. Because I remember a piece of tape on the end of this bank. But it's a yellow rabbit plush from Dakin. 7 inches, 1977. Um, sold for $17.95. That little barrel in the front was actually a bank. Fisher Price. This is a Puffalump Rattle Dinosaur. The eyes are like a hard plastic and the, the, like the eyeballs are the rattle. It's from 1991. Sold for $8.96. I had a whole lot of bread and butter, thankfully, so that, you know, I could actually, you know, make a little money and pay the bills, right? These have been listed a little while. I, I picked them up at a yard sale, I believe. They're not Converse, and even though they look Converse, I saw some listings that had that word, but no way was I going to use the word Converse when they aren't, because then you might get slapped with either a Vero or a keyword spamming type stuff. But they were Yufu Star Wedge Sneakers, size 39. They sold for $13.45. Cupid dolls, I tend to pick them up anytime I find them. They're just mostly bread and butter, but usually I can get them for very cheap. This one was seven inches, had the little red dress on, $11.66. Oh, and I probably could have sold her for more, but she had a really bad stain on her back, like a discoloration, which, like I said, put it in the comments, take a picture. And usually it's still okay because it is vintage. Levi's Signature Women's Jeans. These sold for $17.71. This is Disney Sophia the First Clover Rabbit. There's several in that series. I pick these up at the bins when I can get them for cheap. They tend to just be bread and butter for me, but a lot of times they do sell very quickly. Well, within, let's say, three months. Um, this one sold for $8.96. I remember when I pulled this out of the bag. This came from the Goodwill bins. And I was like, why is this gorilla got pink lips? Like lipstick on. Don't know. But it sold probably within a month or so of listing it um, for $11.66. So sometimes... I I don't know if it was a girlfriend or a figure or just that's how it came. This is TB Trading Company. I find a lot of them. I think TB Trading Company and Dandy kind of are the same brand because I have found plush with the tag TB Trading Company, but a paper tag saying it's Dandy. But I still always put what I know only from the tags. 
So this was just a cute little orange monkey. Had like a jungle theme cloth body. Sold for $17.95. Animal Adventure from 2016. This one still had its paper tag. Um, a lot of these are still my bread and butter. Sold for $10 best offer. Now this is from Princess Soft Toys, which now is Melissa and Doug. It's a 14 inch, kind of tall, long-legged um, dog. Sold very quickly, I think like the day I listed it, for $19.95. Oh, I meant to say this at the first one where I think it was a viewer who purchased this. If you're a viewer and you buy something from me, please just leave me a note in, in the, um, when you're paying. That way I can go ahead and thank you in the video. A lot of times I don't know if it's a viewer. Um, so it, I just appreciate it. If you, if you want to get mentioned, please leave me a comment so that I know it is. Fugglers. Fugglers. These are the ugliest plush because I think they, they're using false teeth teeth on them. I found these at the bins. They were not in good condition at all. In fact, I had to wash them, which then made all kinds of fuzzballs all on them. But a sweater shaver took care of a lot of it, but I did put in there that there were fuzzballs um, sold very quickly for $16. Russ Yomiko Yellow Labrador Plush. I picked these up. These and the Mioni by Auroras. They kind of all seem very similar. Same type of quality. It's a, both these brands I like picking up. A lot of them are like dogs and cats. Um, this lab sold for $10.73. Robert made sure that I knew how to pronounce this. Mackinac Island coffee cup. We went to an estate sale and bought a bunch of vintage and touristy type coffee mugs. Um, I, I like picking them up. They are kind of long tail, but a lot of times I can sell them for $10, $12, $15 plus dollars. This one I took a best offer of $15 for it. Just regular old coffee cup. Cutco Knife Block. I think I picked this up at an estate sale or a yard sale. It had non-Cutco knives in it. Um, still, I just took those knives out and discarded them. This sold for $15 best offer. Some of the larger blocks with more um, slots tend to do a lot better, but this one was just eight slots. Russ Baby Mocha Dog Plush. It's a little 7-inch plush that's a rattle. Sold for $13.45. Animal Adventure Godiva Rabbit Plush um, from 2018. Sold for $9.95. This has been listed for a while. And so I just wanted to point out again that I didn't delete and sell similar. I do these every single month. I don't let my listings roll over. And a lot of times they sell before my next sale starts. So this one was one of those that, you know, I ended it and it sold before my sale. So $9.95. Kmart pumpkin thyme flannel backed vinyl tablecloth. I bought a large tote that was just full of like um, holiday tablecloths. Um, I think this person um, that I purchased them from had run like a um, restaurant or some type of thing where they used up a whole lot of tablecloths. I finally got them all listed um, and they're selling the, uh, I got them after the holidays. So, you know, some of these might have to wait till I get to the next, to that season again. But this is Halloween and it sold in April, $8.96. I paid $5 for the entire tote of, of the tablecloths. Oh Joy Hedgehog Plush. I think this was from a recent haul video. So I, from St. Louis, 
these sold no I picked this up at one of the first neighborhood sales that we went to recently picked up like three loveys that day this was one of them I paid three dollars for it sold for twenty two dollars very quickly another Christmas ornament ceramic duck Christmas blue and white sold for eight dollars and ninety six cents Carter's lovey this one still has the little ring plush is still attached to the lovey sold for eight dollars and ninety six cents a whole lot of bread and butter y'all this is funny because I'm doing my inventory right now slowly but I'm doing my inventory and sometimes I just wonder I had gone in and updated the custom skew because I'm adding a sequential number to everything that I'm inventorying that way if Robert goes out there to pull something for me and he's in a tote full of dogs he can find the bag that has the correct number on it and then hopefully at some point we're gonna hire somebody to take care of shipping for me so when we travel I won't have to shut everything down but I had just gone in and did a whole bunch of updates for a basket because I'm doing a basket at a time and this sold right after it it's almost like because I touched it I touched that listing I did something different to it and it sold immediately it's a dandy Christmas animated dog plush sold for $26.05 I'm hoping that'll happen more as I'm doing each of these baskets this is a super NES video game this was from the highway 127 um, it's called Saturday Night Slam Masters I sold it once and it was a return to sender um, so I went ahead and relisted it and it sold for $30 I think it sold for $30 the first time too but I don't think I have any more of that stuff any of those video games left I went ahead and took all the rest of the video games because I'm overwhelmed with projects and I just they were a lot of other type games I got all the vintage NES and Super NESs listed um, but I sold the rest of them to Trading Post Pickers and um, he's gonna be listing all of them also but I made all my money back on just the few that I listed so it's all good I bought a bag of ornaments a lot of them were like Sesame Street and some other characters and I'm pretty sure this was in that bag also I want to say I paid five or eight dollars for like a Walmart bag that had quite a bit of them in it this is Flit the bird from Pocahontas 1995 I was pleasantly surprised when I did comps it's been listed a while so it had to wait for the right buyer um, and the box had lots of issues but it sold a Christmas ornament for $31.45 brass I haven't started doing the brass yet I've got a new box of brass plus the old tote of brass that still needs to be worked on but I sold brass so it's going to be a motivator for me to get to it it's it's I gotta do monster high I gotta do build a bear and then maybe I'll get to the brass um, but these wall candle holder sconce shaped like a little rat ribbon there they were big tall 19 inches um, these two sold for $43.19 this this I'm pretty sure we picked this up at the bins recently I did a haul video on it I couldn't find comps on on it you know sometimes if you use purple you don't get in other people use lavender I don't know what happened this is one of those times I'm glad I had worth point um, because I wasn't finding enough information for me to figure out what I needed to call the keywords I needed to use and I ended up finding stuff on worth point most of these were several years old it, that it had sold for like 30 or 40 dollars I believe um, so I just went ahead and bumped my price up there and I think it sold within a couple of days yeah this sold in two days and it is an international purchase through the eBay international shipping program 
I took a best offer of $60 for this little jelly cat purple bear plush 11 inch size. So definitely it was one of those times I'm glad I had Worth Point to figure out where I was going to go get, get comps on it. So a whole lot of bread and butter, but a couple of nice sales, which made the weekend okay. Not great, but okay. All right. I hope you enjoyed that. Look, I have a new t-shirt. University of Tennessee Volunteers. Yay. Tennessee fan. Um, we've only gone to one game. That was when Mizzou moved to the SEC. And so we went to one game for UT, and I wore UT colors, and Robert wore Mizzou. So it was, it was fun, but it was cold, and I just... I'm not a crowd person, so I enjoy cheering for the balls. All right, it's time for me to get back to work. I'm working on geo tracks. Not a fun pile of stuff, but I keep torturing myself with these large lots of stuff that I need to divvy up into small lots. It is what it is, but in the end, I'll be glad when all of this stuff is listed and hopefully sales will start picking up here very shortly. Please, right? Please. All right, bye.